Hey, listen, I want to share something that took place today in prayer and some revelation behind it. All right. So there's been so much going on in our life, my husband and I, as we're moving into our promised land. And, you know, there's always giants in the land. Right. And we're not afraid of the giants. However, they have been energy zapping (laughs) giants and you know you're just kind of like in a place where you're just like you're coming before the presence of god but you're numb right it's like you don't know what to pray anymore what to say anymore and that's the place i was in this morning when i came uh to my father but here's the thing i want you to take away first lesson i came wow so when you are in a place where you don't know what to say don't know what to pray don't know what to do still come first lesson then as i came and i was talking to him and I was praying in the spirit, but I was doing so silently. And if you've been following my journey, you know that I sat before him in silence for eight plus years for four to seven hours a day. And it was that time of silence. Well, he ushered me out of that time many years ago. And our prayer time has been more vocal, more verbal, verbal, excuse me. And he's also crowned me during that time with glory and put a robe on me. Wow. And a ring on my finger. And so today, as I came before him, uh, I wasn't saying a lot audibly. I was just talking silently. And he said to me, do not withhold your love for me. I want to hear your voice. And so I began to sing a song Then I remember it, it just rolled up out of my spirit and it was a simple song and it went like this. Birds in the sky sing their song to you. Trees in the field lift their arms to you. I want to sing. I want to lift my arms to you. I got to sing that to the second time. By the third time, my God, Alessia, Basaba, glory burst through. I'm bowed over under Kavod. Tears are rolling down my eyes because I start thinking about how he saved me. I start thinking about my spiritual legacy inheritance. That song goes back to 1980 when I first got saved, 1989 to be specific. And I start thinking about all the way the Lord has brought me and not just how he's brought me, how I have a sure legacy spiritually to stand upon right in these times and so i want to give you lesson number two and it's this when god crowns you with glory and he already has according to psalm 8 and 5 and when god puts his robe on you and his ring on you and when he tells you that you are a royal priest don't take it off i don't care what you're going through he still wants you to come before him in full regalia my god he still wants your mantle to show up i don't care what you're going through you know we can say i will bless the lord at all times that's great but he wants more than you to just bless him which means bless means to bow down to honor to to acknowledge but he wants to see you in full regalia don't take off your robes don't take off your crowns don't take off what he has put on you because of what you are going through lift your voice lift your hands he wants to see you in full regalia